Now, I hope, in, in wrapping this up, I hope that you understand, and I know I've said this 10 times if I said it once, that you need to go out there and take control of your lives. You need to start dictating where you get your advice from, where you're getting these referral past experiences from, where you're getting help from, the kind of people you're hanging around. You become part of what you're around. You guys need to pat yourselves on the back because you've taken the first step. You've come out to an organization like this, you've become part of a team like this of people who are out there striving to be better. And you can't help, it's contagious, you can't help but get better hanging around those kind of people. If you're hanging around people that are out there and they're gambling their money away and they're doing drugs and they're partying all the time, you're going to become just like them. But if you're around successful, goal-oriented people, you're going to become like them as well. And I hope that this class is going to help you do that. Now, for those of you that came out tonight that are guests, if you're not a member already, I do have an incentive to help you get started reaching your goals. I was talking to Steve Davis today and he told me that when we wrap up at the end of the night, we're going to offer our FFP membership for, normally it's $500 for one year. He said I can offer it for $400 for one year or if you want to do two years, we can do that for $500. Also, anybody in here who's been thinking about upgrading to the PIG or Challenge membership, we've also got benefits for that as well. We've got an incentive for that as well. Now, the FFP membership, for those of you who don't know what all it includes, grab one of the mentors, grab one of the realtors, grab somebody here, and they can tell you a little bit more about what Lifestyles is, what we do. In fact, I think I'm wrapping up a little bit early. And you can actually hang out, talk to some of the other members that are here. Most of the people here that I'm looking at are out there doing deals. They're taking control of their life. They're out there doing the kind of things that we've been talking about, the kind of things that we preach about all the time at Lifestyles. So I feel free to hang out, talk, network a little bit. If you guys have any questions, again, about Lifestyles or anything I covered tonight, I'm going to open it up for questions real quick. But feel free to hang out, all right? So does anybody have any questions over anything I covered, how to set a goal? Or, yeah, Meg? There you go. I like that. <laughs> what she's saying is when you do set that number, make sure you write or more after it. Because many of you will find, as Meg found, you will surpass whatever number it is you put there. And some people will get to the goal that they wanted to reach and they'll just stop. Okay, I've reached my goal, I'm done. You know, maybe I got three years left. Maybe I did that in the first two years. Why don't you just keep going? You don't have to. If you reach your goal, that's fine. Maybe set a new goal or just keep going in the direction you're going. All right, anybody else? No questions on goal setting. You guys all know how to go home and write out these goals and you're all gonna do it, right? All right, everybody raise your hand. Who's gonna do this? Who's gonna go home and do this? Come on now, don't be shy. All right, I believe about half of you. All right, you had, you had your hand up before I started saying that, yeah. You'll actually want to set goals for all of those. What I suggest people do is you want to set weekly goals. You want to set monthly goals. You want to set yearly goals. You know, long-term, short-term goals, lifetime goals. Now, some of them will tie into each other. They will be kind of along the way of reaching the longer-term goals. But you should set goals for many different time lengths. And not only set goals for yourself, but you want to set goals for your family. Set goals for your business. All right, so you're going to have lots of different types of goals. And when you go through these exercises, you go through those six pages I've been talking about, you're going to see in there, you're going to start to realize some stuff is going to come up that you never really thought about that you want out of life, but you've never quantified it. And it's going to make it real for you. In fact, whenever my wife and I do this, we sit down together and we do our own individual goals and then we also talk about us as a couple or us as a business, the goals we want to have as well. Yeah? Oh, you're just scratching your head? Okay. Anybody else have any questions or even comments? Yeah? Oh, what kind of tools are you using to track your goals? I've actually gone back and forth. It used to be I had a notebook that I would write all these down in and I would carry it around with me and I had all my notes of everything I was doing and everything else, you know, going towards these goals. 
Then I went to my iPhone, putting stuff in there, and then I had a spreadsheet on the computer and everything else. It really is going to be personalized, whatever works for you. If you can write it on a post-it note and put it on your mirror and that works for you, that's great. If you're more of a computer geek or somebody that loves spreadsheets, you know, write the stuff out. Map it out. Get, you know, get one of those goal planning. In fact, what I did at one point was there's a Microsoft project. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah, and you can actually set milestones. You can set goals. You can talk about the resources, who's going to do what. You know, and kind of like running a business with your goals. So some of you may want to go to that kind of a detail and do something like that. All right? Anybody else? No? OK. I want to thank you guys all for coming out. And again, give yourself credit for coming out and taking this first step. I appreciate it.